This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called High Tech Medley. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to create custom project templates in Adobe Premiere Pro. Another feature, and it's a big one, I think, is the ability to create custom project templates. Not just a template for a sequence, but a template for an entire project. I do this when I'm editing webinars. My webinars always have a bin for slides, a bin for audio, a bin for video, a bin for sequences, and I have specific things that are imported like a pointing red arrow or uh, an audio of mouse clicks or whatever. I've got a standard setup. Well, it's, it's bins, it's sequences, it's media, it's, it's graphics, and it's the same from week to week to week. So I can save this as a custom template. The way the custom template works is you configure the project as you see fit, including bins, media sequences, and settings. Then, and this is the most important point, you save the modified project before creating the template. Then, once you have the project saved and organized the way that you want, you choose File, Save as Template to create a new template. Then, when you're creating a new project, select a custom template from the Project Template menu in the Import window, and I'll show you all of this. A question I couldn't answer at the 9 o'clock that I do want to answer now is that you can, you can find templates or delete templates by clicking the Templates list to reveal them in Finder. I'll show that to you. Or go to your home directory, go to Documents, Adobe, Common, Assets, Project Templates, and you can see all the templates that are there. What's actually happening is Adobe isn't saving any settings in a specific format. It's taking your entire project and copying the project and storing it in the Templates folder. Let me show you how this works. This is a, um, this is a um, webinar that I did a few weeks ago on small things that really matter. And this is the edit. And I want to use this as a template going forward. So what I need to do first is, uh, let's just get rid of this. Command A, we'll delete all those clips. Right mouse click up in the marker bar, and we're going to clear all the markers. We're going to unmute that channel. Good. Now we'll go through here. I, uh, I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, we'll say yes, we'll get rid of it. Don't need that, or that, or that, or that. And I'll twirl down here and get rid of these two videos, which I don't need. Let's pretend I need to keep all of my slides. And I want to keep some of my uh, audio, but not all of it. So I'll just keep the main audio mix for the project. We can add more bins. We can add more media. I mean, I'm, this is a premier project. Do whatever you want with it. But let me show this to you. If I go up to here and I say save as template, notice I've made all these changes. I'm going to call this template, I'm going to call it that, bad. Okay, now I have not saved the project. Now I'm going to go up to here, I'm going to save as, and we're going to call this uh, clean webinar, save it to the desktop. And now I'm going to go up to here and save as template. And this time I'm going to call it template good. So template bad was created before I saved the project and template good was created afterward. Let's close this project. Let's go to a new project. And notice my templates are right here. There's template bad and there's template good. So let's open up template bad and create it. And notice that everything that I deleted is back. Why? Because it simply copied the existing project from wherever it was and stored it in the template location. So until I save it, even though I had gotten rid of it, it wasn't saving something new. It was just taking the existing project and saving it. Rumpf. So let's close that project. And this time we'll create a new project and go to Template Good. And click Create. Yes, I want to replace it. And look at that. There, it has just the project. The video is gone. The audio has been saved. So the secret to this is create whatever project you want, whatever bins, whatever media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Make it as pretty as you want. Save it. 
and then do File, Save as Template. Now, a question that came up at the 9. Premiere is not duplicating any of your media. Remember, Premiere just points to where media is. It doesn't store it inside the project file. So that means that if later you decide to delete that media or remove those graphics, they're gone from the template as well. All the template is is a project file stored in a specific location and able to be accessed from a menu as a template. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called High Tech Medley. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 359. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.